Greetings, brothers and sisters. So you can see I've made these three videos here on my Gratefulness Meditation Apocalypse, Pockets of the Future. This is a backup channel, but it's also a place where I can have these meditation videos and they're sort of highlighted. Um, eventually, I'll put up more content here, um, you know, in the future. Um, so here's the first video I put up for whatever reason. It's um, the second video, which should be the first one, but explanation of the gratefulness individual and group meditation sittings, individual gratefulness meditation sitting, gratefulness group meditation video. I got an added T there. <laughs> I often uh, forget the T. And so this is the playlist um, here. And here are the videos. And this is what it looks like on my my own, uh, whatever it is. And again, I'll explain these things in a moment. This is my Pockets of the Future um, Gratefulness Meditation playlist. And here is a all these early videos explain all you need to know about Gratefulness Meditation. So if you look at this video, this is my Journey 100. You see the, um, here's the various playlists. Gratefulness Sunday Meditation playlist, which is this one, um, this one, Gratefulness Meditation. And then here is the, um, the new playlist that I just added here. Individual and group meditation videos for Gratefulness Meditation. So I want to explain um, the new videos. And so my wife and I were talking about this. My wife had this idea that, you know, I would do something like this for new people. You know, it's like a guided meditation. You know, I'm not a preceptor, I'm not a, a master of the system, I'm not transmitting, at least, you know, not consciously. There's transmission in these videos, and all of us who do the uh, gratefulness Saj Mark meditation, the transmission flows from us to other people. We become conduits by us uh, doing the practice. You know, we benefit other people. We become like vortex vectors or something, uh, satellite dishes in a sense. Um, or, uh, you know, cell towers, where the current flows through us, the divine current, because of our practice, because of, you know, we're receiving and it's, you know, flows, it's supposed to flow. It's not something that you retain for yourself. It's, you know, it's always flowing like a river of, of divine love. So um, at the end of the Babaji gathering, and which is, you know, I've talked about a spectacular, and I'm still feeling the condition. You know, I just feel like a lot more love in my heart. I can't, you know, quantify it, but it's substantial. Um, how much better I'm feeling than before the gathering and, you know, in, in years. Um, really, uh, you know, uh, I, I want to say a, a validation of what's happening here, what we're doing here. It's even kind of bigger and more important than I thought in the past. Uh, but what I realized was that, you know, not having preceptors it's one thing for me to say you guys got to work harder to connect to the divine. But people, you know, are coming in and the thing is strange and, you know, it is, um, uh, you know, whatever it is, right? It's not something new and, and it's hard to, you know, ask people to just figure it all out for themselves, right? You know, in the early days, Babaji would make a preceptor. He would give them no instructions, no, there was no books and say, he go work. And he expected them to just figure out on an internal level what to do. And he would, you know, give them a, the tools internally. But on an ego conscious level, they really needed more, right? And so, you know, I can't give you all individual sittings and group meditation sittings online here or wherever else. Because I'm not a preceptor. I'm not, you know, I talk about this um, somewhere recently. Um, either in a, a video, maybe the, the Journey series, something or whatever. But I can't do that, right? Um, I haven't been led to, you know, uh, it's that process, you know, and whatever it is. And um, also make preceptors. Those are like big things that I don't know how to do that, right? So, you know, it is a preceptor -less, less, uh system. And having a preceptor was really good for me. It wasn't good for everybody. <laughs> like some of the preceptors, I mean, there was a lot of drama. People got big egos and... 
you know, some of the preceptors were wonderful. Some of them were, you know, I mean, they could all maybe do the work or whatever, but, you know, it was on a human level. It was good for some, and there are a lot of people quit because of preceptors. A lot of people, you know, who might have stayed if there wasn't a preceptor or whatever. They didn't deal with the, the egos and things like that, right? Whenever you have sort of a, a clergy class, they get big egos. And again, and there are some saints, some real gems. So it's, you know, it wasn't like a 100% failure, but it was, you know, there were some issues there. So it isn't like that was some great thing that we have to replicate here. And we can't replicate it anyway. And, you know, as of the gathering and these sittings that we're receiving, at least for me, it's just as good. And so, you know, that's um, not necessary. But, you know, it'd be good to have some structure for new people. And so what I've done is create an individual sitting that you can use as sort of a, a template and a guide, you know, the guided sort of meditation. Um, and you can use that for your cleaning as well, because it's a half hour long. You know, essentially me saying, uh, please begin meditation, reading the prayer. And then it, you know, it goes for a half hour, then I say that's all. Same thing for the group sitting, which you can use for your individual morning meditation if you're going to meditate for an hour. And you can use the video for me saying, please begin. And then, you know, whether you're doing a group meditation with all of us on Sunday or you use it doing your individual sitting, again, that's if you are able to meditate for an hour, it's an hour long one. And so you could stop anytime you want. You don't have to use it. You could turn off your phone and just you know, whatever, you can set a timer or just meditate for as long as you can, you know, until you feel like it's over, whatever it is, right? That's up to you. But now there are these two uh, videos out there that can help in the gratefulness meditation. And like I said, in these playlists, the playlist I've created here for, you know, the gratefulness meditation playlist, um, and on this, on this channel, and now this uh, playlist that, um, you know, there's an explanation for these settings. You know, I was thinking about this for years. I recommended this to dodgy and heartfulness people. Like, this is the stuff I was saying they should do. It's comprehensive because in these videos, you have um, one video, I have all these links to Sajmar uh, literature. It's the second video in the playlist that's on my channel. And if you watch all those videos and you, you look at the links and you find the links to the, there's PDF books, there's the online literature which I'll mention periodically, but now there's a comprehensive internet explanation available for the Sajmark system. And they never did that with the heartfulness. You know, they never did anything that was, you know, easy for people to understand. It's all in one place. And, you know, all these different videos, right? I do an explanation of the cleaning, and you can read Sajmark explanation of it, all these things that you need to know to do this practice. It's all there for people who are, you know, seeking this and wanting to do it. It's just all there in these two playlists. If you go down through the playlist and you watch these videos, you'll see, oh, wow. You know, it's all there. I can, you know, I can do a Saj Mark practice by myself in the comfort of my own home with all the knowledge I have and then the transmission and connecting as well, right? Um, so, you know, I'm pretty happy with this. I think it's um, a lot of things were you know, like inspirational that came during this gathering, it was uh, just a, a big turning point for me personally, like this, you know, having the experience of a gathering again, and just, you know, validation for all this stuff. And just, I mean, it's kind of, you know, I mean, the coffin, the, the last nail in the coffin of Dodgy's mastery had already been, you know, pounded in, but it was clear when they didn't have a gathering there. And, uh, you know, they had nothing but a concert and disrespecting Babaji, and you know, I mean, Daji wasn't even necessary. He could just have everyone do what we're doing here, like even if he knows he can't transmit anymore. But robbing people of the opportunity to experience the energy is special days, right? I mean, the birthdays were, you know, special days that Babaji talked about. Like you can't replicate them. No one can control it. It's just a time where this divine grace is going to flow and, you know, for Daji to to just say, all right, we're not doing anything, <laughs> you know? And so, um, like, he's, you know, lost all that, which is, I mean, we, which we already knew. But anyways, the um, videos are there, and um, for those of you who, you know, want to use them, it might be helpful. 
especially in the beginning. You know, you might not have to use them forever, but at least in the beginning, just to have something there as a, you know, like you're, it's, you're just not doing it in an abstract sense. You now have these videos. The videos themselves, there's no transmission. I'm not transmitting to you, which I say, you know, I think in, all, in both the videos and in the explanation for it. But they're there to help you with the timing and the, you know, the idea that there's um, you're doing this in a, a connected way. But anyways, you can check out the, the playlist um, if you're interested. Only spirituality will save this world. It's Paul Romano, definitely reporting for the apocalypse. and the ascension, everyone have a blessed day and be grateful.